if you could get rid of anyone on the cast, who would it be? I have a long list. That I'm Ooh. Thinking. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another juicy after show. Today we have the one, the only, the iconic Milan from season two and three now. Season two and three. <laughs> Milan, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing, Karan? What's I'm going doing on? good. Now, Milan, people have been talking this season. They like this new Milan. So I want to start <laughs> off by saying, How's everything been going with you? How have you been lately? What's new for the House of Milan right now? Um, I've been doing good. You know, House of Milan is, um, I'm still like basically rebuilding my business in a sense, you know, rebranding and um, basically being more consistent with my business because I had kind of just got lazy with it and, you know, with everything that was going on filming and working, I kind of put on the back burner. So I'm kind of getting back into really putting my all into my business so that's how that is going but I'm going great you know I'm working you know I'm traveling and so you know life is good you know no complaints okay now starting off because I, I'm the type of person that likes to jump right in a lot of people <laughs> have been saying that there's a new Milan this season you know like you're definitely more outspoken you tell it like it is this season you aren't really feeding into the bullshit what from last season to this season made you be more vocal and, you know, out there? Um, I definitely would not say that there is a new Milan. I'll just say that there is a side to Milan that no one ever saw. Um, so I feel like season two coming into it, of course, I was cool with Quay. But other than Quay, I was not really just super cool with anyone where I could just be myself or show how my real personality is. So I think that me going into this season saying, and yeah, I even told production when they asked me to come back for season three, I said, well, I'm going to be more vocal this season. Like, that's one thing that I'm going to do, like, because I feel like people feel like they could just, you know, talk over me and expect me not to say anything. It's not the case. I think that I had to just open up and get used to being around a group of gay Black men. You know, I had never been around that many gays, so I think it was just something new for me. So I had to feel everybody out the gist of it. I was just like, I'm I'm not going to get talked over this season. But then another thing is that people don't know. Um, I'm actually, the way I am on camera is how I am in real life. I'm actually very sarcastic. So when I'm being sarcastic or being funny on camera, that's actually how I am with all my friends. So yeah, that is well, very true. thank you. Look, nice knowing me. <laughs> <laughs> so Going into the beginning of the season, I kind of want to recap a couple of things that happened between episode one and three and then begin into four. Um, what, how did you feel seeing the conversation with you and Darion? Because I know that it was very, it seemed a little intense. You were definitely more vocal when it came to the situation. Uh, watching it back, did you feel like you were giving off that like, well, this is how I feel and this is what I'm going to say energy? Um... I can say that going into the conversation with Darian, I was going to get everything out in the open on my behalf, you know, so that we could just move forward. So I was going to say how I felt. Um, now, I can't say watching it back, I don't remember, like, being snappy like I was or having an attitude. But, you know, I'm, I'm glad that Darian and I were able to have the conversation and move past it. And one thing that I saw in the comments is, just, like, everybody wanted me to just bow down and except his apology within the first 30 seconds of him being there, but that was not going to be the case. You know, I wanted to get my point across, you know, ask my questions as to why, you know, things are going on. So I was just going to be like, oh my God, yes, Darian, let's make up right now. And I just feel like that's what people wanted me to do from what I have read, but I just, I didn't want to do that. You know, no shade to Darian, but you know, that's just like basically the fans. Like I wasn't going to just jump right into it and be like, oh yeah, Darian, we're good. You ain't got to worry about it. You know, I'm not going to say how I feel about it. No, I'm going to say how I felt about it. And then we can move on. Got you. Um, <laughs> going into the scene with Dion, I know that you were definitely not here for him crying, talking about the situation that happened with Darian. Now, one thing I want to ask is, how did you feel about Dion getting emotional about it? Even though it's been two years, how do you feel about him getting emotional? And second, because people in the comments were saying something about like, oh, Milan's not a real friend. He doesn't care about Dion's feelings. But I think that, honestly, that's just how you and Dion are with your friendship. 
Right. So I asked the fan one first. So anyone that said that is kind of like bullshit. Um, because Dan and I talk to each other like that all the time. We talk shit to each other, we cuss each other out. So me telling him to hurt and get out his feelings, you know, that was just how this is how we talk. As far as the being two years, I understood him being hurt. I understood the embarrassment, the attack. I understood all of that. My thing was, it's been two years. Let's talk about it and move on so that you can put it behind you. Not saying, oh, let's talk about it so we just get this shit over with. Like, no, you need this for your own healing. Like, this has nothing to do with Darion, but everything to do with you. Like, you need to get this out for you so that you can feel like, okay, it's out in the open. I can be around the group. I can be around him and I won't think that I'm going to get attacked or think he's going to have somebody attack me. So it wasn't like I was just like, oh my God, Dion, bitch, talk about it. It's been two years. You know, it was like, it was more so like, it's been two years. You need to talk about this for your own growth. Now, going into episode three, you know, things really kicked off when it came to Messiah's Wine and Cheese Night. You guys came in with Chick fil A. People are talking about that. Um, why did you decide to come in with Chick fil A and not just enjoy the wine and cheese? Well, I just started drinking. Like, I don't drink a lot. I'm more so like, you know, a little daiquiri. I will do amaretto sour, but I can't drink anything that strong. If I can taste alcohol, I don't want it. So I don't drink wine at all, though. So I didn't want no damn wine. And I damn sure didn't want no pack of cheese and no crackers. So I wasn't going to eat it. So Quay and I were on the way. I said, we're going to go to Chick-fil-A because we're not going to, you know, go here and starve and then have to deal with them arguing all night and be hungry. So a choice had to be made. So we chose Chick Fil A. <laughs> okay. So, that's what we ate. <laughs> now watching the episode back, see, because you weren't there when Darian and Anthony met each other. So right, right. Me, before, me and Kevin late, you know, in Chick Fil A line. <laughs> mm-hmm. Seeing that, like now watching the episode and seeing what happened before you guys got there, what is your thoughts on that whole situation? Um. I was told by, you know, one of the producers that it was, they were like, I think you should hurry up and get here because, you know, it's just a lot going on right now. But I I didn't think that it was going to be what I saw, like watching it back because, you know, when I, even when I got there, you know, I was like, do y'all know each other? Because it was a lot of animosity between them. And it was just like, there's no way y'all don't know each other and y'all throwing all this shade at each other. So I think watching back, I was kind of like, damn, Darian, you went a, he went a little hard on him. But I think that the next conversation that I had with Darian kind of made it seem like where I didn't think about it as much because he was like, I'm not trying to get into it with Anthony. You know, he was like, I'm just picking his brain to see how he is, see how, how he responds. So I didn't think too much of it at the time. I'll, I'll say it that way at the time. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, Koi and Messiah starts going at it. And then all of a sudden, Messiah says to you, I think you're, you know, as well, seeing it from a friend's point of view, he was like, I think that, you know, you're inconsistent with being a friend. You don't talk to me. Now, what people don't know is like, you know, of course, we were filming the season before the camera stuff got stolen. So Milan and Messiah did form a friendship. Um, now, you know, we stopped filming. And so something happened. I guess you guys stopped speaking and then this is the first time you guys are actually seeing each other while we started filming again. Um, talk about what your point of view was because it, you know, I know that it definitely seemed like there was some tension between you guys. Right. So number one, there was tension, but there was no sexual tension. I don't know where y'all getting this from. It's crazy. It's fabricated. <laughs> it's not true. We have never talked in that way. So yes, Messiah and I were building a friendship, but I think the disconnect came, um, for me, I just felt like he came at me sideways. Like, I wouldn't check my friend in front of a group of people. I would just pull my friend to the side and say, hey, friend, this is going on X, Y, and Z. And mind you, um, all right, well, right after all the things happened with the camera, I was going through my own shit, you know, you know. I was in my own little predicament that didn't make, won't be on the show, but I um, kind of talked about it a little bit, but it's not going to be like a major situation. But it's like, I was going through my own things um, around that time and shit, I was the, the one that texted him last. So that's why I was showing him the message. So I was like, you can't be for real because I text you last on text and on Instagram. So I don't know where the disconnect was. Maybe you could call Messiah and ask him, but I don't know. Okay. So we then go to the back to school drive. Do you feel like, cause I guess from 
maybe some fans point of view some fans felt like yeah it was perfect for him to pull him aside privately and not in front of the group and some people felt like oh he should have done it another time not at a kids event what do you think about uh what people are saying about that right so let's start with the fact that the event was over okay we were walking to the car the kids were gone the jumpers were down the cotton candy truck had left there was no one there we were literally literally packing up to leave so i'm like okay i believe this is a great time to have the conversation with messiah and it was my idea to have the conversation with him because I just wanted you to know how I feel because even the night before yeah we had talked but it was like I said one or two things and you still didn't text me back so it's like okay let me get you in face to face you know so I can have a real conversation with you so I can just tell you how I feel about everything and you can even tell me how you feel and then like I said in my green screens I was like I was going through my own thing so you might have to check me and say oh bitch I haven't heard from you that's fine, but if you could have texted me after filming, you could have, you know, met me, met up with me when the cameras went off or put me to the side while we was filming and then said it, but it's like, I just didn't like the fact that she did it in front of everybody. Mm. Right? That was, that was my thing. Like, pull me to the side, have the conversation with me, and then we can move forward. I feel like we should have <laughs> been able to just say how we feel and it's just like, okay, we're good, you know, we'll both communicate better and we can move on. So, it didn't end that way. <laughs> <laughs> it ended with bye Messiah <laughs> no I walked off because Messiah was saying a lot of shit that I just didn't want to hear so I'm like yeah bye don't worry about it <laughs> <laughs> um, and later in the episode we see that Anthony, Judy and Messiah you know, are talking and a lot yeah. of people said that the story is a little different from how Messiah told it from what was shown. And then also Judy had a couple of things to say about you not being that type of girl and you should have got hands put on you by Messiah. Let's talk about right. that. Right. Yeah, so, child. <laughs> <laughs> so as far as, you know, Judy saying, I should have got my hands put on me. Should, I should have gotten hands put on me, you know, that's girl. Anyway, um, as far as her saying, I'm not the type of girl. Clearly I was because I put him to the side and had a conversation with him. But I think that, I can't even blame Judy for that because it's like she was basically going off Messiah making it seem as if I came to him in an aggressive way. I came up to you and was literally holding you like, hi, friend, let's have a conversation. So I just think that the way that it was presented to her was like, well, damn, if he was doing all that, because, you know, he made it seem like I just came up like, well, bitch, me to have a motherfucking conversation, ho. That's not what I did. So I don't know where he got this in his head, but the, the stories were definitely not the same. And the fans saw that. So that's why they were commenting that. So I just, I don't know. I don't understand a lot of things that have been going on, but child, I'm not gonna. I'm not trying to figure it out, honestly. So going into more in the season, we see that next week's episode it gets explosive between you and Messiah. Without giving too much away, how can you describe the episode? Because I know that it definitely gets to a point where a blow up is happening even more. I think that like you, it, it's just it it hurts to see that you and Messiah go at it this way, but it it happened. Um, what I can say without giving too much away, um, I will say that the first time that Messiah did what, I mean, like, called me, basically called me out in front of everybody, it didn't hurt my feelings or made me feel no type of way. I just kind of was like, well, damn, bitch, don't do that shit again. Let's talk about that. But he did it again. So I will say that at that time, that kind of more so hurt my feelings because it's like, damn, I already told you how this made me feel and you're doing it again in front of everybody. So... I'll give away that little bit and I'll just let y'all tune in and, you know, make your own conclusions about how things went. But, um, yeah, I, it went, that went left fast too. I did not expect that to happen. Like the whole night, I feel like the energy with him and myself was just off. It yeah. was off. Like as soon as he walked in. It was, a, it was the okay. minute that, that, that everyone started saying hi to each other where it was like, okay, the tension, something is definitely going to have to be talked about. So going forward into the season, how can you describe the season without giving too much away? Because now we're like episode five, we're about to start breaking into the whole chaos of what's about to happen for this season. I'm kind of going to piggyback off of what Dion said. You have to pay attention to everything because things that you think you might not need to pay attention to are things that you need to pay attention to. Mm -hmm. um, it gets really dark in a sense and it gets really flip floppy. Um, a couple friendships are shattered. Mm. Um, and some are still being shattered as some messes 
coming undone. So, you know, I think that, I think that this was a great season, but I do think that it was some really dark moments as, as we go further, it just gets, it's like every week, it was something new every week. So I'm kind of ready to see how it plays out, but at the same time, I'm knowing that it's, it's kind of bad. On some yeah, I, I agree. It gets really, really dark. So I want to play a game. I want to get into some questions and see your thoughts on certain things. So I've okay. asked the other cast members in the past, and I'm going to ask you. Who would you, name two people you would bring back if you could bring back anyone for season four, who would you bring back and why? I'm bringing back um, Chris, of course. Yeah. <laughs> like, that was a no-brainer. And hell, myself, shit. If you could get rid of anyone on the cast, who would it be? Well, I'm not answering that, but if you would like to have a conversation about it, we can definitely text and chat and step into your office when that time comes because I have a long list. That Ooh. I think you How about that? We'll save it for the reunion. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I want to go down the line and name cast members, and I want you to give your first thoughts on each person. Okay, so Dion. Okay, that's my bitch. Quay. Uh, that's my bottom bitch. <laughs> People are gonna look at that the wrong way. <laughs> that's gonna be wrong. Bottom no, okay, bitch. So People are gonna think that. Oh, okay. Dion is like my bitch because, like, me and Dion, we talk every day. We're, you know, we're good. Okay. Contrary to popular belief, Dion and I are good. Okay. Me and Quay, we don't talk every day, but when we do talk, it's just like the conversations that me and Dion have. Like, we're good. Like. We don't have to talk every single day for us to validate our friendship. Got you. Right. Um, and you just said nice. bottom bitch. Darion. Um, wait, is this supposed to be like one word about them, right? Just like whatever yeah. comes to your mind. Um, Darion changed in my eyes for certain things. Like certain certain aspects of him have changed since last season. Okay. Anthony. A Kardashian, because that's exactly how he talks. Judy. Oh, uh, Judy. A mystery. Ooh. A mystery, because I just, I don't know. I never know where I stand with Judy. So I would say a mystery. Okay. Messiah. A mystery. <laughs> Gooby got damn do. Both of them. A mystery. Okay. <laughs> um and last but not least Milan. me mm -hmm. um child bad bitch so it's obvious you know um yeah okay i'll take judy's word you know judy says she's that bitch so i'm gonna i'm gonna take my praise from judy for tonight that bitch all right <laughs> so Going into this season for the reunion, we have a theme. What are you expecting for the reunion? Are you excited for the reunion? I am excited for the reunion, but I, it's, uh, doing a reunion is always nerve-wracking. But, you know, I don't be in my confession talking shit about nobody, so I'm not really worried about that. Um, I do think a lot of truths are going to come out at the reunion. Mm. A lot of truths that may fuck up some friendships that think that they are in good standing and they might not be in good standing. <laughs> so. What was your favorite event to film this season? We had a couple of themed events that we did. My favorite, my favorite event was my event until I won't say, but my favorite event was, would have been my event. Mm. What else did we do? Um, I think I would have enjoyed the um, treat tasting thing. Um, the Leah Street ta treat tasting, tasting treats, sweet treats by Lee. I would have enjoyed that because shit, I like to eat. Um, yeah. Oh no, the lingerie. Oh, I was... forgot about that. The lingerie party. I definitely had fun at the lingerie party. I don't know okay. how to slip my mind. I had a good time at the lingerie party. I felt like, you know, it was a little bit of shade amongst the girls, but you know, I feel like we had fun. You know, we played some games, we had food, a few drinks, a few extra guests so it was just like we just I feel like that was one night where well Darian wasn't there okay I can't say everybody <laughs> it was a night where majority of the cast was able to come together we just had fun like it wasn't any major drama but the damn next day it was so it's just like you can never tell where anything is gonna go with this group ever Oof. ever <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, would you like to say any last words before we get off here? Um, I would say keep it cute in them comments. <laughs> y'all be really trying it. And I never, like, I don't know what it is about this season. Last season, people were not like this. This season, the people that be coming, and some people are like, this going the extra mile this to shit. really get under your skin. I'm like, y'all crazy. So, you know, I will just end it off by saying, um, I want you guys to enjoy the rest of the season. It is a great season, you know. And um, it's going to be like a, a nice little roller coaster. It's going to be up and down, and a couple of bitches might fall off along the way. Woo, that is very true. <laughs> Um, Mama, definitely we're gonna have you on. Oh my god, that was not shade. What do you mean? Nothing. It's okay. Up and down, bitches are gonna fall off the roller coaster. That was not shade. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I was like, what do you mean? I look, I swear that was not shade, okay? (laughs) (laughs) It's like it just came out. Get it, but I got it. (laughs) Right, like Um, No, but I can't wait to have you back on for later in the season when things take a complete turn turn. for us. (laughs) A turn. It's going to be fun to watch. (laughs) We all made it online. It's stressful to watch. I'm I'm ready to see the live comments, though. I kind of look forward to the live comments. I make myself available every Wednesday to catch the live comments because I know I'm going to get a good laugh out of it. I just know I am. chilling me so thank you guys for watching definitely join the live comments wednesdays at 8 p.m eastern standard time the come up atlanta season three will be airing thank you so much milan for coming on follow milan on instagram follow me on instagram for more updates and we will catch you guys next week in the next one see you soon Bye. bye you guys